31 year old Diller leaves behind a wife and a one year old son. Now, Frank Siller, Tunnel to Towers, are teaming up with Barstool Sports CEO Dave Portnoy to take care of the fallen uh, family's office, the, the officer's family. Uh, they were just married three years ago. Uh, welcome to both of you guys. Uh, Frank, great to see you. I understand you reached out already. Yes, I spoke to Officer Dilla's uh, widow, Stephanie, and uh, I let her know that the, uh, the country is praying for her. New York most certainly is praying for her. And that the Tunnel to Towers Foundation is going to be f there for her and that she's not going to have to ever worry about her mortgage again and that we're going to make sure uh, that, we, uh, that we pay it off. I have so many people that have reached out to us to help in, in this cause. You know, so many of your viewers help us all the time. You Teach still need help. I mean. uh, we always need help because there's so many others. You know, there's a 40% increase in police officers killed this year alone. But, you know, Thomas uh, Rezewick. Uh, the CEO of Maspeth uh, saving, Federal Savings. Uh, I spoke to him yesterday. He called me up and he said, Frank, whatever you need, doesn't matter what the amount is, including the whole amount, uh, they're willing to uh, step in and make sure that, it, that it's paid off. And this is the type of reaction right. uh, that we're getting for so many people. And, and I, I know we have Dave on here. Uh, Dave's done so much for the foundation and he's taking care of this family as well. And it's beautiful right. to watch everybody to come together in such a sad time. Hey, Dave, I know you're working with Tunnel to Towers, but this is uh, Barstool's already, uh, already taking action. What have you done? Yeah, so we put T-shirts on sale. I mean, Barstool uh, has a long history trying to support the police in causes like this. So we raised uh, $1.5 million in about 24, 48 hours. I as well spoke with Stephanie. They're going through so much, but just let her know that we'll be there to support exactly like Frank did. Um, it's a cause that resonates with a lot of people. So um, decent amount of money. And it's almost, I'm sure, the same as Frank. When you talk money and mortgages, it's a necessity, but it's hollow. I mean, that, that really doesn't you know, that doesn't fill the gap of what just happened, but we will be there financially. But the one thing is, when, when the everything quiets down next week, uh, you look around, the bills still come in. It's still reality. And you have a one-year-old that has immediate needs, and I know there's a GoFundMe page for all the baby needs on top of that. Frank uh, and Dave, you want to chime in? This is a family of police officers. No, the whole family served. It's incredible. Uh, Stephanie's brother, the widow's brother, is, you just saw him speaking. He's making me, he choked me up when he was talking about it. And he said he's going to live a better life because of the sacrifice that his brother in law made. And, you know, I think that's what people have to do when they see somebody that has given their life. Let's not, let's, to honor them. To do the right thing, let us all live a better and cleaner life and do good for others, especially for first responders that pay the ultimate sacrifices. They, they, uh, they always tell us there's no routine traffic stop. And, I, you know, you hear it and you agree with it, but now you really see it. He just walked up on a car that was sitting in the bus lane, thought there was something up to it, and the guy resists, then he's got a gun, and his life is over. It, it really hits home on how dangerous this job is more today than ever. Yeah, and I think that's something a lot of people ha don't appreciate lately in, in, in the political climate and everything that's going on. But, you know, the, these servicemen, first responders, all of it, you never know. You never know what's going to happen when you leave the door. Um, and, and you got to appreciate what they're doing uh, because stories like this really drive home. This isn't, you know, you, any, anything can happen any day, and, and the risk they take can't be understated. Especially, uh, you don't make a million dollars uh, working for the NYPD or if you're a police officer, you have a calling. Uh, guys, thanks so much. You got 1.5. I'm sure that number's gonna go up. I'm sure your numbers will come up for us. Sadly, we're gonna need it again for other police officers and other uh, men and women who serve. Uh, to help out, go to T2T.org right now, uh, or go to store.barstool-sports.com uh, to contribute to the Diller family, and it's gonna be happening all week long. The funeral's actually gonna be on Saturday, and it'll be a two-day wake beginning this afternoon. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Dave. Great to see you. Thank you.